Hello, and welcome back to another lab. And in this lab, I just want to take a minute to show you how a packet travels through the network. So I have a PC on this side and a PC on this side of this network. So this PC is traveling through two switches, three routers, and two more switches to get to the host over here at PC1. Now I've already configured IP addresses on the hosts. So IP config on PC0 is showing us a 192.168.2.10. And over here on PC1, we will do an IP config. And we are at 1.10 on this side. So just to verify that we have connectivity, let's go ahead and ping the PC on the right side which is in the network of 192.168.1.10 and let it do its ARP request and we're getting replies back. So what I've done is some additional legwork just to make this video a little bit quicker. I have noted down the MAC address of each interface as it passes through the network just so we can see uh, if and when anything changes on our packet. So let's go ahead and let's get in simulation mode and let's ping the other side of the network again. All right, so we're starting here with this echo request from PC0. We can see that our source IP is 2.10, which is the PC, and the destination IP is 1.10. All right, and we see our destination MAC address is C6C02. Now, if we find this on our network, we're looking for 6C02 as the last four, and that would be router zero's interface right here, which would be the gateway of the network. And our source address is 1720, which is PC0. So let's go ahead and see what happens at the next step. When it hits switch one, the outbound PDUs going to the next switch, our outbound packet is still destined for 6C02, which is the gateway, and our IP addresses have not changed, the source and destination. And our source MAC address has not changed. So we still have essentially the same packet, and this switch is just forwarding it on because it has referenced its MAC table and it knows where to send it. So if we go here to this switch, not to the switch, but to the packet, we can also check out the outbound PDU coming out of this switch, still gonna have our same source and destination IP with our same MAC address of the gateway and the MAC address of the host. So let's see what happens when we hit the first router. First router, we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna look at our outbound PDU details and see how it has changed. So our source IP is still 192.168.2.10 and our destination is still 192.168.1.0. That has not changed. But if we take a look at here at our source MAC address, it is now the gateway. 6C02, and the destination MAC address is now AA01, which is this router's, the other side of this point-to-point -point network right here. So we have unchanged packet from the host up to the router. When the router gets it, it is keeping the source and the destination IP, but it is changing the MAC address source to itself and the destination for that router's MAC address is going to be its gateway, the gateway to the next network. So that is what changed. Our MAC address has changed, but our source and our destination IP addresses did not change. So let's check it again and check our outbound PDU details on this router at the top. First inbound, 6C01, this gateway, AA01, right here, this interface, now outbound, Let's change the MAC addresses again, changing it to AA02, which I believe is actually this interface and I typed it in wrong. We will double check that in a second. 
to the destination of A702, which this is this interface down here. Let's double check what our interface is here, gig01. I think that's just a typo. Show interface gig0 slash 1. It's going to give us the MAC address. And it is AA02, so that is a typo on my part, so we can fix that real fast. AA02. All right. So notice the IP addresses have not changed in this packet while traversing these multiple networks and these multiple switches. But the MAC addresses have changed at the hops. The gateways have changed to their own MAC addresses. So here, the source is now this interface, and it, the destination is now this interface on this router. So our MAC addresses have changed, but our source and our destination have not. And we will keep on going to the next hop. Now checking out our outbound PDU. Our outbound packet shows that our destination is now A701. Our source, excuse me. Our source is now A701, which is this interface right here on this router. What is the destination? B5, B3, which is the ultimate destination intended for this packet as the destination IP is 1.10, which is this host right here. So again, we have changed the MAC address. The router has changed the MAC address to send from its interface here, and it has addressed it to the source, which is this host right here, which also is the final destination of 192.168.1.10. And it's gonna hit the switch and it's gonna do the same thing it did over here. The switches already know the MAC address, so they're not going to change. And just as an example, we can open that packet again and look at the outbound PDU details. It still has a source address of A701, which is the interface, and it still has a destination address of B5D3, which is this host. And notice again, the IP addresses are the same. Source and destination are the same. So by the time we get to this host, we are now receiving the echo request from our host over here, PC0. And then ICMP traffic, it's going to send an echo reply back through the network and do the same thing, but in reverse, and it's gonna receive the ping on the other side. All right, PC gets it and says, that's great, I see you. If we look here, look at the results, we have our first echo reply received. So that is how packets travel through the network. Hitting the switches, they're unchanged. Hitting the routers, the IP addresses do not change, but the router does uh, put its own MAC addresses, its own MAC address as the source, and it puts its next hops MAC address as the destination. But again, the IP addresses never changed as it traveled through the network. So that is a quick demonstration on how a packet travels through the network using multiple hops. In this case, we use three. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment.